Hey everybody, it's hold on. I forgot about the mic. I don't know if this is gonna be live on Facebook or not because apparently Facebook is having trouble. So uh, I'm going anyway uh, to talk about root beer uh, because last year I set out to find the best, the very best root beer. Uh, period, and um, I found some really good root beer and some really disgusting root beer over the past year. I didn't get to, go, to find as much as I wanted to because I wanted to go, I was supposed to go out to California, and I was going to see if I could find some local flavors out there. I was going to, you know, travel across the country, essentially, looking not just for root beer in general, just in general, uh, looking, you know, that was, that was the goal to find my favorite, the best root beer ever. Let me know in the comments what your favorite root beer is. Um, mm -hmm. I've got a comment already from before I even started from T Wayne. This is uh, top five root beers. I, 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 did I put top five? Cause I don't think I'm going to do top. Well, let's see. Yeah, I could do top five. I, yeah, I got, I got top five. So, um, I'm going to start off with root beers. I didn't like, um, Culver's is, uh, it's on my list. I'm just gonna, that's a spoiler alert. I love Culver's. So let me know in the comments if anybody's watching what your favorite beer is. I have the door open behind me. Um, <laughs> I don't know. That's why I did not get to try Hire's root beer if it's still around. I'd have to Google it. Um, but I'm gonna just do this real quickly. I'm gonna do some some food stuff because I like food. Uh, I was at, uh, went to the, got Taco Bell tonight because I wanted to. And those motherfuckers forgot something. Every time I go through Taco Bell, they forget something. Every single time. So, um, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go through a couple like honor, honorary mentions, or honorable mentions, or whatever you want to call it. Um, talk about some of the uh, like uh, store brand uh, root beers that I tried this year. Uh, like, uh, well, I'll get to those in a second, but definitely want to know what you guys like in the comments. Uh, before I get going and please share subscribe hit that good old like button for me uh, spreads the uh, the message of what is the best root beer along further um, had so much root beer early is all early in the year too it wasn't even near the beginning of the year um, yeah I don't know about that one uh, I'm I'm okay. I'm I had some some Taco Bell tonight. For some reason, when I go grocery shopping, I always end up getting food on the way home. I don't know what that is. Oh man, you're missing out. Missing out. What's this one? Uh, I do not like energy drinks. Uh, they make me all shaky. Uh, I used to drink uh, Monster Energy. It was a red one. I don't remember what it was called, but I really like the flavor. Uh, but. One of those three, Jay, are uh, my my top five. So anyway, some of the ones I had that, that were uh, name brand ones, we had uh, Big K from uh, Kroger. or I mean, it's a local place, I'm guessing, but they put that right in the middle of the screen. Anyway, uh, it was okay. I bought a 12-pack because that's all I could get and drank three of them. Actually, they're still in my basement. Uh, I also had the uh, Schnucks brand. Okay. You know, first Schnucks brand. I mean, these are the cheap brands. Remember Super S Cola? Um, and then the Great Value was surprisingly good. Uh, got that from Walmart. The Great Value wasn't terrible. I'm not going to lie. If, if, you're, if you're in a pinch and they don't have the good stuff, the Great Value is not bad. And I'm not a big fan of canned root beer, but uh, for canned root beer, it wasn't, uh, wasn't terrible. So... Uh, I'm I'm tr I'm uploading the pictures now. I was gonna do it before, but then I saw somebody had already commented, so I was like, "Oh shit, let me grab, let me get, let me jump on, so I can get going." Um, as you look at this beautiful image of the Great Value root beer, let me let me get that off the screen, and so you, you can see my beautiful face. Let's face it, ladies like me. Um, so I'm gonna go through the th my <laughs> my least favorite three. And then I've got enough for five. Where is the last one? That's in my images. Uh, save. Oh, shit. Okay. I got to 
find an image of my least favorite. Give me one second. So anyway, uh, please, in, in the comments, let me know what your favorite root beers are. Jay commented. Uh, Chris Hall mentioned something that I've never heard of before, which I'm always willing to try. Uh, and I also tried some of these in different uh, ways, like bottle, glass bottle, which generally is the best way to drink a root beer. Um, and then uh, uh, can for a lot of them, too. Um, and cans generally, in my opinion, aren't the way to go when it comes to good root beer. But uh, I was surprised by one, and I'll, that's, I'll get to that when I get to my top ten. So first, what's up, Luke? How you doing, man? Uh, grew up an a and guy. Always very smooth. It was really, really, really flavorful, and, and I always loved a and So may be on the list. So let's do my uh, least favorite three, and I think they may surprise people. Um, any guesses? To what my least favorite three are because guess what they are uh your name root beers i thought i saved pictures of all these sons of bitches let me let me get another picture of this last one and then i'll i'll get going with showing you pictures to people people like seeing pictures right you like pictures i like pictures we all like pictures okay so these are the the least favorite three root beers for me and some of these might be just local root beers i don't i don't know if if they're local or they're nationwide because that's also a thing i got what was around me of course because of the pandemic it kind of derailed my uh going across country like going to california and trying different root beers so uh coming in at uh, number three and my least favorite barks barks has bite in a bad way i don't like barks i loved it when i was a kid but for some reason it just it doesn't do anything for me now. I can't. So, yeah. So, Barks. Barks is uh, number three of my least favorite. If you like Barks, uh, sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's one called Mug. Well, Jay, uh, you might have an unfair advantage. Uh, number two on my least favorite is IBC. Now, this one was, I, I promised to be a really good one for me because when I put the post up, which was about a year ago, actually... It was a year ago today. Uh, it was one that I saw pop up quite a bit, and uh, I did not like it <laughs> at all. It had too much of a black licorice uh, taste to it, and that's something that I noticed with number one. Mug is fucking disgusting. This is the worst root beer on the face of the earth, in my opinion. It has the worst looking uh, presentation on the can, the bottle. It tastes very bad. If like for instance, Freddy's, the restaurant in the Home Depot parking lot has it on tap awful it tastes like shit I absolutely do not like mug root beer one fucking bit uh <laughs> sorry if you're a mug root beer fan but uh, it's, it's not for me and it's it, again it's that really like a black licorice type flavor and it just i don't know it's just not not for me some people do like it i remember i had a friend in, in school his name is brian back who always had root beer and he was a barks guy and and it's whatever, but like he he also liked mug. It's a more bitter tasting root beer to me, um, and it's that's just not my style. I like I like smooth root beer, smooth root beer. Uh, so let me see. I, I'm missing. Let me go back to so you can see my face because you know you I know you want to see my face instead of mug root beer. Yuck. So anyway. I got, let's see how many I've got. One, two, three, four. I'm missing one of them. Ah, okay. Hold on. Okay, let me let me upload this one picture and then we'll be good to go. And... I, so, yeah, it's something that I'm not proud of, but I, I love food and I want to start talking about some of my favorite food places like restaurants and stuff like that. So we're uh, that's going to be something, especially uh, you think it's sweet. I think it's bitter as fuck. Everybody's taste buds are different. So, okay, number number five. Let's, let's get this uh, show on the road. Frosty Root Beer. I found this at Walmart, and I, I think it's a nationwide brand. 
when we do the lean. I think it's a nationwide brand, and I was surprised at how how decent it tasted, especially in the glass bottle. As it, it's, I like the the presentation. That's that's also important. Like like I was talking about uh, how I enjoyed you know uh, the great value the presentation's bullshit, but it was pleasant. This was very pleasant. I enjoyed it. I think Helena had this one with me. I know she had the Kroger one with me. Now I did all this probably early last year. And I do remember most of the flavors. So, uh, number four is A and W. Oh, look at how that pops up! I got a PNG file. A and W. A and W is the classic root beer, in my opinion, and it's it's really good. It's fucking, how can I do this without? There we go. And it's really really damn good. And it's I think this one is absolutely nationwide. I'm just my root beer is better than my face. It's absolutely nationwide, and it's definitely worth drinking, in my opinion. Uh, it it's in every gas station glass bottle preferred if you can find a glass bottle I couldn't find one here they have the plastic 20 ounce bottles everywhere uh, mostly gas stations and stuff like that we have an A&W uh, restaurant right by Home Depot and the tops is a root beer float from A&W at the restaurant it's it's so good uh, it, it blows me away but the, even better than that well there's nothing better than root beer float when it comes to root beer but they serve their uh, uh, their root beer out of the tap in a frosty mug at the restaurant. So A&W is fantastic. Uh, number, let's see, is it the right one? Dog and Suds. That's number, uh, number three. Anybody, like, growing up, there was a place in Fairview Heights. What was it called? Uh, it was like a little convenience store, and there's always like a 32 ounce bottle of Dog and Suds. This is not the bottle I remember because everything was engraved into the glass. It was so good on a hot summer day. A frosty Dog and Suds was always good. I found one uh, just like the old days at some place in Highland. I think it was in Highland, Illinois, which is about 30 minutes from me. And I grabbed, I scooped it right up. This is again before the pandemic, and it was delicious. It was everything that I remember from um, the root beer from way back when I was a kid. My, again, my friend Brian Back, who's kind of a root beer connoisseur, he had this convenience store right by his house. And I'm blanking on the name of the place, but it was right by Car X in Fairview Heights. Anybody who's from the, from the area um, it had the best root beer for a long time is like always, let's go get a dog and suds. It was so good. Um, but we... Uh, Never seen that one yet. I don't know if any of these are nationwide. That's the thing. Um, come to come to the St. Louis area. I know one of them for sure is definitely not nationwide. But number two is Culver's Root Beer. Holy shit. It's delicious. This blew my mind. I And I'm talking from back in like 06 when I first discovered Culver's. This was so damn good. Like they have Pepsi, Mountain Dew, and uh, Dr. Pepper. And every time I go to Culver's, it's a root beer, no matter what. It, I mean, I don't go to Culver's very often, but when I do, it, you got to get the root beer. It is damn near the best root beer on earth. It's so smooth. It's so frosty. It's, oh, it's fucking delicious. If you have a Culver's in your area, go there, get a double bacon cheeseburger. They got crinkle cut fries and get yourself a frosty ass root beer because it's the second best on my list. Um, I'm a big fan of Culver's. I wish I could get there more. I, you know, they, the, the Walmart by me just started carrying not too long ago, a bunch of the frosty stuff. And I'm willing to try more stuff because it does there. I was very impressed by the, uh, the root beer. Yeah. The Culver's is, is by far my favorite, my second favorite. It is delicious. Now this is, I'm probably an airbrush, but it's so damn good. I wish they served in a frosty mug. In, inside the restaurant, I'd probably get three or four refills of the Culver's root beer. Uh, so number one. Number one. And unfortunately, I believe you have to come to St. Louis for number one. Anybody from the St. Louis area have a guess? Uh, before I put it up. Because I know there's a few people from the St. Louis area watching. And let me tell you something. There's only two ways. There's Well, there's three ways to drink it. And it is Fitz's. Fitz's Root Beer. This is awesome. Fitz's Root Beer is a St. Louis. There's a restaurant in downtown St. Louis. And uh, Chris, try it. It's really good. Uh, Culver's is not that expensive. Not now. 
But uh, Fitz's Root Beer is there's a, a Saint. It's, I think it's brewed in St. Louis, and they have a restaurant. And they, first of all, the food is damn good. I've been going there since I was uh, 18. It's down in the U City, is what they call it, right? I think. Anyway, uh, yeah, Fitz's Root Beer is amazing, and you see this. This is from the restaurant. <laughs> this is what they do. Okay, but 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 Fitz is yeah, Fitz is on tap. Is very good. It, it's very good. The glass bottle is phenomenal. But I'm gonna do you one better. This is the best way to drink a Fitz's out of the can, and I'm not even bullshitting. If you can get that ice cold, you open up the can. You, you got to turn it. You know, it's it's a, it's a, a turn cap. You turn the cap, and you can see you know the the cold come out of the can like a, a mist or whatever it is, and it tastes so fucking good, like going down. It stays cold. That's the problem with the glass bottle. It, glass bottles are barely anything in it, it seems like. But these cans are so fucking good. And there's a lot in there, too. And I got to I gotta recommend the uh, the, the uh, cream soda, too, and the Cardinal cream soda. Uh, I'm not a cream soda guy, but their, their cream soda is very good. Anything from Fitz's. If you're in the St. Louis area, when, when everything opens back up, because, you know, everything's closed down over there, I do believe, uh, to dine in. Call me up. We'll go to Fitz's. You'll get yourself a uh, bacon cheeseburger from there with onion strings, you know, the, the fried onion strings, and get yourself Fitz on tap. Get yourself a fucking ice cream or we'll root beer float. It's phenomenal. Trust me. Trust me. I've been going there for years, and 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 it's been a while since I've been there, admittedly. It's probably been since before my wife passed away, since 2013 or 2013, 2017. But man, anytime we go out there, I don't know if there's gonna ha be one around Owensboro. I'm almost certain Fitz's is, is a, a locally owned thing. You may you may check stores; they may have Fitz's. I know Walmart just started carrying four packs of the glass bottles. I had to go to my brother-in-law actually went to a, uh, a gas station close to here, close to his house, which isn't very far from my house, to get these uh, cans. And I'm telling you, the cans are fantastic. But as Jay said. Uh, getting it on tap is really good. Again, frosty mugs, as you can see here, they put it in the mug, put the ice cream on top. Holy heaven. Yeah. So <laughs> there you go. My top five uh, favorite root beers in, in my search. So we got frosty as number five. Uh, number four was a and W, which is PNG file. It's cool. Number three, dog and suds. Number, uh, four or number sorry number two culver's and the best thing is get a damn good cheeseburger with that and number one fitz's root beer and uh they'll never see this but i want to congratulate them on making the best root beer and if you're in a pinch get some great value great value wasn't so bad do not get the the the, the if you got a what's that store called the kroger store that's supposed to be cheaper not that this don't get that shit it's not very good i have nine left in my basement if you want them from a year ago yeah so anyway that's my show for the night <laughs> that's that's it we're talking root beer t wayne says my friend matt's dad was the owner of route 66 root beer he unfortunately passed away that sucks sorry for matt uh matt wasn't the next in line to own it but the people took it over actually fired that fuck them that's stupid uh let's see yeah, if you're ever out in the St. Louis area, man, I'll uh, take you out to Fitz's for sure. I would boycott them too. Fuck that place if they're firing your buddy after his dad passed away. That sucks. You can order Fitz's on Amazon. There you go, Alex. Uh, we were just talking about that not long ago. I was talking to a friend about getting um, some root beer out across to London or something like that. Or Ireland, I can't remember where exactly, because apparently not many people out in uh, UK drink or know about root beer. But root beer, it's not my favorite. Okay, so if I had a favorite soda, it's not root beer. I love root beer; it's very, very good. Uh, thanks, Luke, man. I appreciate it. Thanks for coming up and hanging out for a few. Uh, but Dr Pepper is my favorite, probably. Actually, a, the perfect is an ice cold Coca Cola glass, it's three ice cubes in a glass. That's my favorite, but. I'm weird about Coke. If it's not, there's a like a date, I guess, made by date or made on date or 
something. If it's not like three months within that date, it's disgusting. Coke does not last very long. But Dr. Pepper became my soda of choice after um, Elizabeth kind of force fed me Dr. Pepper uh, while we were when we started living together because that's all she'd buy is Dr. Pepper or Cherry Coke. So that's okay. I like I like both of them. So yes, Jay, thank you for putting that up. That's really cool. Get some get some fitzes on uh, on Amazon. You can get it probably. I wonder if Walmart.com if it's just a local thing because uh, I know I can get it on Walmart.com. Um, another soda you should try, and I'm not going to advocate for a bunch of soda drinking, is Ski. It is a citrus-flavored soda that is brewed in Breeze, Illinois, which was uh, about 15 minutes from my old house in Trenton, so about 45 minutes from me now. And they have something called Cherry Ski, which is delicious. Uh, Helena just bought two bottles tonight for the weekend, even though the weekend is still five days off. All right, so that's it. Tomorrow, the Horror Syndicate lives. No, the Horror Syndicate discourse will be live. With uh, Nathan Thomas Milliner, Seth T. Miller, and Jared Letourneau, I do believe. We are talking about an American werewolf in London. So tune in at 6.30 Central Time, 7.30 Eastern Time uh, for all the fun with the gang. The gang is back. Oh, you know about Ski. Yes. Uh, if you can't find Cherry Ski, get some grenadine, just a splash. If you got a glass bottle, put your finger on the top, flip it over. Perfect. We used to serve that in the bar whenever I was I worked at my mom's bar. Uh, we'll talk about that some other time. Anyway, uh, tomorrow, I, I'm not sure what I'll talk about. Again, I got a request to talk about what I would have done with the Star Wars sequel trilogy, and that's too much to think about. So if anybody has any suggestions, what they'd like to hear me talk about, let me know. And on Saturday, I will be talking with Seth T. Miller about Superman 3. You know Superman 3, right? Everybody knows Superman 3. This one? <laughs> yes. Superman 3 with Seth T. Miller. We, as we go down, ranking... Uh, essentially, we are now ranking the Superman movies. Only Superman. And, I mean, Superman's a lucky guy. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to Rage of Razor on uh, YouTube, please go do that. Uh, I'm trying to get to hunt a hundred at some point so I can change the, you know, dot com to youtube.com slash rage of razor instead of slash user slash around the fur 33. Did you watch our show? Have a good night, Alex. Thank you again for all the support. Chris, did you watch the show uh, when we talked about Superman returns the other day? Uh, you got, uh, Wanda, I don't know. Maybe I might. I don't know. <laughs> That's a good question. Um, I forgot all about WandaVision. If I if I'm completely honest, uh, let's see. Do you remember the 10 second scene in Mr. D's of the Hawaiian Punch from the Fountain? I've always had that kind of money called. Oh my God, I would do that too. Culver's root beer in a fountain. Oh my God, that'd be amazing. Oh man, you must live in the Midwest somewhere because I think Culver's was from Wisconsin and went south. Helena's making us a quick appearance. Uh, what are you doing? What's the matter? Nothing. You want to say hi real fast? Come on, you can say hi. Go over on the other side so they can see your face. Tell them what your favorite beer is. Do you know? Remember? No. Okay. What is it? I I don't know. What are they? Root beer? Yeah. You don't remember? Okay, she doesn't remember. Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper's not root beer. That's just soda. Alex says, hi, Helena. Hi. Okay, go back in there. I say hi, too. She says hi, too. All right, everyone. Uh, again, thanks for uh, hanging out for a few. Tomorrow we'll talk about something else. I'm always looking for suggestions. I've got, uh, let's see, the 11th today. I've got 354 more days in a row to try to do this. Yay. Yay me. That's why I need more subscribers so I can so I can be a YouTuber, man. Yeah, a YouTuber. Have a good night.